Today we're here in Hiram. Stay tuned, we'll talk about the pros and cons of living in Hiram, Georgia. Hello everybody, this is Gamma Lee, the broker realtor with Sturgis Realty. And I'm Alan Rios, I'm the realtor with Sturgis Realty Group. We're in the city of Hiram, Georgia and located right now in front of Hiram City Hall, Gamma Lee. A great location, what a beautiful day, huh? Oh it is, it's fantastic. And uh, we're here located in downtown, walking distance from a lot of nice little restaurants, coffee shop, dancing places, you could do a lot of little <laughs> things in this area. So, but today we're here to talk about the pros and cons of living here in Hiram, Georgia. Yeah, we're going to talk about the five pros and five cons, and we're going to start off with the pros, Gamalier. And the first one that comes to my head has to be housing. Definitely. Affordability is very important and, and a great place to live here in Hiram. It's very affordable. Houses start in the 150 range up, and you could get a small home, a townhouse here in the 150 range. Average prices here in Hiram, Georgia, they're in the low 200. You get a lot for your money here. Oh, you'll definitely get a lot of house, and to go along with that, property taxes are on the lower side too compared to the surrounding counties here in Paulding County. All right, number two has to be parks. A lot of parks around here. That's right. You have Silver Comet here, which is connected all the way from Smyrna all the way to Alabama. Yeah, the Silver Comet Trail takes you from Smyrna to Anniston, Alabama. We also have Ben Hill Strickland Senior Memorial Park that has an amphitheater where you can put on some shows and they have a picnic pavilion, walking trails. You can grill out there with the family. A lot of fun things to yeah. do here. And number three definitely has to be restaurants. Oh, for sure. I mean, we've got Olive Tree, which is right down the road here on Main Street that serves Greek and Italian cuisine. One of my favorites is Wild Crab. If you're looking for seafood, they've got choices like King Crab Legs to, to shrimp to crawfish, just a lot of choices. And you get to choose different sauces and also different types of heat levels for your food. Yeah, it's a great place. Definitely great food. Yes. And one of my favorite ones is here too. It's actually Taki. It's a Japanese restaurant oh, yeah. steakhouse. They have great sushi oh, I love and, sushi. and yeah. great hibachi. So if you're looking to eat some great food, that's a place definitely you want to visit. Okay, number four has to be the family-friendly atmosphere of living here in Hiram. Yeah, there's a lot of things to do here in Hiram. It's a small town, small feeling town, yeah. but with a lot of things to do also. So definitely you want to go ahead and uh, uh, everything that you find, a lot of things like Alan mentioned, is on 278. There's a lot of restaurants there, a lot of activity, uh, roller, roller skating. skating yeah. Uh, trampoline, so, park. trampoline in the park. So there's a lot of great things to do for family. And it's very friendly, very quiet. Uh, yep. After 10.30, definitely there's nothing happening. So nice and quiet to sleep. That's right, yeah. <laughs> I like to sleep too and eat, you know. So number five has to be shopping, Gamalier. I tell you what, when you walk, drive down US 278, you've got JCPenney's on one side, Kohl's, Marshall's, Super Target. A lot of choices, right? Yeah, a lot of little stores too, a unique little store you could go shop. So there's definitely a lot for everybody here when it comes to shopping. Definitely. All right, let's talk about the cons. So we put a list of five cons of living here in Hiram, Georgia. Number one has to be accessibility to freeways. Yeah, definitely. Being that we're a little bit outside, then you're not uh, as close to the freeways to connect. So it takes a lot, a little bit when you come to connect of one of the closest freeway here is 20 but you yep. know from higher end you're going to be another 20 minutes to connect exactly it's so, about 20 minutes to i-20 so definitely sure. so i would definitely say that uh accessibility on freeway is one thing that lacks that's right and then number two if you're single and looking to move to Hiram, not a lot of choices for the single person, right? Yeah. The nightlife is not really big out here. Yeah, definitely. It's very quiet and nice. So if you want to have some fun dancing, you got to go to downtown Atlanta or maybe you go head to Kennesaw from here. Marietta. Uh, but, you know, right here in Hiram, there's not typically a nightlife when it comes to that. It's very quiet, which is good for family. But if you're young yeah. and want to have some fun, you got to head to downtown Atlanta. That's, that's for sure. Number three has to be schools. They're about average, right, Gamalier? Definitely. School here, is are good. they have good quality school. Uh, I would say they're, they're pretty average compared. Uh, you know, you're next to Cobb County, which is known for school systems. So they're excellent school system. Here, you still have decent school, they're quality, but they definitely need a little help on improving on their system when it comes to school system. Yeah, totally understand on that. Number four has to be lack of festivals. They, they have a, a festival here and there, but it's not a full calendar of events, right? Yeah, definitely. A lot of the cities around here, they, they do a lot of different festivals in the summer, spring, and all through the year. 
uh, when we look at the high room, obviously there's not as many, there's have a few for the July is pretty big here, but uh, overall through the year, the, the lack in having activities uh, when it comes to festival and more activity for kids, I would say. Yeah, definitely. Number five has to be mass transit. So if you're looking to commute to Atlanta, they do have one bus system that takes you to downtown, but you don't have a train. You don't really have a lot of choices, so you definitely need a car. You definitely have a commercial train that goes by, but you can't jump in that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, transportation is definitely, you need to own a car if you live here in Hiram. You can't jump in buses and go to around the city because definitely yeah. there's, not, that's, there's not a system that takes you around the city area. You definitely need to have a car. So definitely I would say the transportation, they definitely need a little more systems to go around, but you definitely need to have a car if you live here. Yeah, a car, bicycle, at least to get around to some of the surrounding towns. Definitely. So those are the five pros and five cons of living in Hiram, Georgia. Hopefully we helped you out there. And if you're looking to buy, invest or sell, please contact us. We'll definitely help you out. Remember to click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.